Facing the Sun, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong, and as always, we want to leave a night light on for you. That night light is out of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14 and verse 33, just after Jesus has stilled a storm. Listen to what it says. Then when they were in the ship were come to... Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying of a truth, Thou art the Son of God. The sunflower is an amazing plant. I don't know if you've seen them. They reach over six feet tall. And one of the unique things about them, besides the wonderful seeds that they provide for you and I to eat, is they are heliotropic, which means they follow the sun. So the, the young sunflower, now when it matures, it more locks into place. But when it's younger, when the sun will rise in the east, the sunflower will face the east. And as the sun makes its way to the west, the, the plant will continue to move so that it follows or faces the sun. And one could say that its fruitfulness flows out of the fact that it faces the S-U-N. We, as believers, as we face the S-O-N, the Son of God, we can find fruitfulness and power flowing out in our lives. Uh, one of the things that I've uh, tried to move towards as I've grown more mature in my walk with God is I'm trying to move away from just a religious structure to an intimate, abiding, powerful relationship with Jesus Christ um, and as I focus on him and him alone and not on all the structures and uh, and those things are not bad. It's just they're not Jesus. And for this, we have Jesus. We need Jesus. We need a, a lifeguard that walks on water. We, somebody said that we serve a wet water walking, blind man healing, never dying, sanctifying, prayer hearing, spirit filling, sky splitting, soon coming king. I think that's a great description of Jesus. And we need to fall in love with him and face him and follow him. And as we do, we're going to find life flowing in us and power flowing in us and fruitfulness flowing in us. But just following regulations and strictures and structures is not going to cut it. Now again, they have their place, but they can never replace Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I thank you that we have the sinless Son of God that we can turn to in trauma times in our life and we know that he can help us to have life and that more abundantly and he can give us fruitfulness in our day and strength for our journey. Just be with us tonight. Help us to rest in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you. Uh, Jesus loves you even more. Have a great night.